today we're going to go over the components that you would need in order to create a minimum viable product or MVP. If you're planning on using Crew AI either to, you know, try to pitch this as a service or pitch this as an application, something you want people to subscribe to. And maybe you already have some people that are thinking or, you know, they want to pitch this to investors, people that would be interested in making or developing something like this at a larger scale through funding or how are you going on about that? But you do want to have a pretty, a somewhat minimalistic, but also complete version of the thing you're building, right? So let's say you're at a point where you build your crew AI project, you have it working the way you want it to. For the most part, agents are still being fine tuned at the moment. So I think that's one of the issues, but that's besides the point, that's another video, but you have your crew, it works, it runs, you linked it to the LM you like, you have your prompts ready, you have your tasks well-defined, your agents, you know, with really good descriptions. And now you're trying to figure out, well, you know, how can I make this into like, you know, a web app or an application. So that's what we're going to go over, right? So the main three parts of this would be your front end, your back end, and your deployment. So in the context of application development, I'm going to go over these terms in a very straightforward manner, just so you can understand what these components are and why you need them. So for the first part, the front end. So for any application that you've ever used before, that you've ever worked with, whenever you log into Facebook, or whenever you open any web page, the thing you're looking at, the thing you're clicking on, that you're swiping through, that's your user interface. Whenever you open up TikTok and start scrolling through your FYP page, that's your user interface. Whenever you open up Facebook and start messaging someone, everything that you see that you can touch or interact with, that's you know basically what the user sees and how they're able to interact with your application. So, I mean, for front end, right, that's why I have this, just like how do users interact with your app? That's your front end. So your back end is basically the logic behind how the data is being handled. Whenever you send somebody a message on Facebook, whenever you like a page or whenever you like a post on TikTok, there's something that has to happen within the application that you don't see in terms of, you know, how that data is being handled. Because if I post a video on TikTok or on YouTube and you like it, I can see that on my end if you're doing that on my page. But there, there has to be a lot of logic in the background between how that communication happens in order for basically in order for that to be a feature of the application. So all the code, all the programming, all the logic that goes behind the scenes for how the app works, that's your backend. And usually on top of that, that's reference to, you know, some of the other components such as like the databases or the APIs that are being called. So deployment, how is it that your app is being hosted? And really what we mean by deployment is where is your app deployed? Rather, where does your app live? Is it on a web server? What kind of web server are you using? So now we're going to go over basically what these components look like for the current project you have for Crew AI. So as it stands, if you've been working on Crew AI projects through some of the videos that I've made, you currently have pretty much either a VS Code front end or, you know, probably a Google Code Lab notebook. So because you're just running the program on VS Code and you're just running the program on Google Colab, anytime you want to interact with your Crew AI project, you're just using that for your front end. Now, it's not that's not considered an actual front end, but currently because you're just running out the program, that is the only way you're able to interact with the application. So where the project stands right now, that would be your front end. For your back end, basically writing out your logic using Cre AI framework. Now that's not really your back end per se, but I just wanted to emphasize that so just so you can see where the logic that you're writing stands. And also if you've been using ChatGPT or another API key for an LLM, well, they're also handling the logic for how these requests are being processed. So that's kind of what's been building out your backend. We haven't gotten to a point where we're setting up a database because a lot of the logic of what's going on behind the scenes is being handled by the proprietary vendor or party that we're using, in this case, ChatGPT. And as far as deployment goes up here, if you've been using VS Code, the app lives in your laptop locally. So that's why we have this laptop. It's just a local deployment. And if you've been using Google Colab, well, your project is being hosted through Google services. Really, it's Google Cloud, but I also just put Google Colab for you know reference just so we can have that clarity. So in this upcoming series of videos, I'm going to go over this very simple framework that we're going to use, or rather this simple stack that we're going to implement in order to make sure that you have an application that doesn't just live in your Google Colab notebook, that doesn't just live in your VS Code environment, but one that's going to have a very clean looking front end. It's going to be simple, but it's still going to look elegant. That's going to be using the Streamlit library. 
which is a Python library that lets you write out what the front end of your application is going to look in Python. And then for the deployment, we're either going to use Streamlit Cloud or Render. I've heard good things about both of them. And depending on which one's the simplest one and cause the least headache or is the cheaper option, that's the one we're going to showcase. But all in all, at the end of this, you're going to have a product which I think would function as an MVP because, again, you'd have a working application with a very clean looking front end. It would no longer be just be hosted locally or in a Google Colab notebook, but you would actually have it deployed online. To some extent, agents are still a pretty new concept. So if you're trying to sell someone on the idea of the capabilities of what this can do, it would be more beneficial to try to do this by showcasing it rather than explaining it. I know one of the things that I try to struggle with when I'm talking about AI stuff with people that aren't really involved in that field. Um, it does seem a little tedious and it sounds a little bit overwhelming to explain this to someone that maybe hasn't even touched ChatGPT at all. But once you build this out, you'll have a very professional looking prototype that you can showcase, that you can show off, and that you could potentially either you know get funding to scale up to a bigger product. And if this is a personal project, you would just have that much of a more accessible way to use the application for whatever your needs are. Let me know in the comments what kind of crew you think we should build for this prototype that we're going to be building up to a full scale in terms of front end, back end, and deployment. I'm really looking forward to everyone's suggestions. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.